Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to thank you for being a good God. Jehovah Jireh, you alone are God, and besides you there is no other. King of all the glory, how grateful we are, O oh, my Father, even for the worship session we've had. We thank you, King of kings, and we lift your name above all things. Oh, we welcome your presence in our session today, O oh, King of kings. As we start, O oh, my Father, we pray that you may start with us. So that even as we finish, O King of the glory, you finish with us to the glory and honor of your holy name. We thank you and we worship you. And this is our prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Uh, thank you, uh, everyone. I want to take this opportunity to invite you to our family month uh, where we focus on a family. And uh, today we are having our, our fourth day in men uh, conducting prayer day uh, where we'll be focusing on prayer for the family men. Our anchor scripture for the day is 1st Timothy chapter 3 from verse 2 to 4 and here is what the Bible says. Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, uh, not quarrelsome, not a lover of the money. He must manage his own household well, uh, with all dignity, keeping his children submissive. Uh, that is what the Bible is telling us about uh, becoming uh, an overseer. Uh, an overseer I would want to say is somebody who takes good care of the assignment he's been given. An overseer uh, in our circumstances, the man. In this case, we have got the responsibility of taking care of our families. We uh, take care of whatever position we have for the sake of God. First and foremost, we must understand that whatever we have is not ours, but it is God's and as such we are caretakers. 
we are taking care on behalf of God. So as, a, as an overseer, uh, men are expected to have a kind of behavior, kind of characters in them. In fact, from the whole Bible reading we've read, I, wa I want to uh, summarize what is expected of us as overseers as being a very good man. The Bible talks scarcely of good men. Uh, not everybody in the Bible was good, but the, the characters that would describe a good man have, are, are not easy to come about. So because of that, if the Bible can describe you as a, a good man, then you must be very good indeed. Like, um, you, you remember Simon the Arimatheus, who helped Jesus to carry the cross. He was one of the people who are described by the Bible as being good men. So the Bible tells us, of the characters that is expected of us and out of them all i want to pick on only one that i want to emphasize on being hospitable being hospitable is where we are expected to be so welcoming and when we welcome our guests we welcome them and ensure that they are they feel welcome, whereby we offer them all the comfortable things that is expected of them. And this will remind us of what happened when Abraham and Sarah became hospitable, when they even invited the angel in their house without knowing. But they were doing it for the sake of the Lord, when they were just inviting even strangers into their own home and making them comfortable they invited an angel without them knowing. And it was upon that time that the angel declared the message that changed their life forever. That at a time like this next season, Sarah, you will be a mother of a son. And it did, it came to pass that at such time, the following year, Sarah had a kid. I want to remind you also of the Shumanite woman who welcomed the man of God into her house. In fact, the Bible says that she talked with her husband and they decided to build a room on top of their house where they will, uh, uh, they will accommodate the man of God whenever he will be coming for the ministry. And you remember what happened at a point in time when the son of the Shumanite woman passed on, uh, uh, the man of God, Elisha, prayed over the son of uh, of the Shumanite woman and indeed God restored the life of this Shumanite woman. So there is su such a, a blessing when we uh, become hospitable even to people whom we don't know. How I pray this month of our family prayers that we will practice hospitability among our members and even among strangers who the Lord will lead us in a manner that the Lord will lead us to welcome them or to show them hospitality. And that, that's what I want to encourage us today. Uh, in this month of family month and let's pray father in the mighty name of jesus i want to thank you for this day for this is the day that the lord has made where you chose oh my father to speak with us and us as your faithful looking of kings we want to rejoice in it regardless of what is happening i know in our midst oh father there are men whose uh, they have started in a manner that they were not expecting. But regardless of that, we want to rejoice. I know there are people who were king of kings uh, have started this day in a manner that is so, so, so sorrowful even to them. But oh my father, we want to rejoice. For that is what the Bible says, that in all circumstances we rejoice and we be grateful to you. We thank you, oh father, in this month, oh my God, even as we encourage men, oh my father, to be in uh, the type, type of men that you'll expect of them, O oh Jehovah God. We thank you because we know that it is not by chance, it is not by coincidence, oh God, that we are the men in this season, oh my Father. But I know it's a divine call, oh my Father, that you had upon us. And I pray, O oh King of Kings, that each and every man will stand to the occasion and live the kind of life that is expected of us. The, as per the Bible, what the Bible has said, oh my Father, there's so much that I expected from us as men. But with you, oh my Father, everything is possible. How I pray, O oh King of all the glory, that you lead us, oh my God, even in, in, in this month, oh my God, as we are going through it, oh Jehovah Jireh, and let all the glory come back to you. 
we pray because we believe, O oh my Father, that you have got good plans for us, O oh King of Kings. You will not need public opinion, O oh my Father, to bless us, O oh my God. You will, in fact, change the law in order to bless us, O oh my God. How we pray, O oh King of Kings, that you may let us be in the way that you expected of us, O oh my God, to the glory and honor of your holy name. How I pray for the administration, O oh my God, of our church. How I put all the leaders in your able hand, oh my God, and even ask you, Jehovah Jireh, to lead them in the best way that you alone know it how. We pray all this believing and trusting in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Thank you for joining us for uh, this prayer and devotion. And may you have a blessed day. May God bless you. I'll put you in front, in front of my men. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I put you in front, in front of my melody. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all that matters. You are all. That